it is truly a mystery. It is truly a, a case of who done it. A major finding that spurred more questions than answers. We have a name, we have an age, we have a photograph. The man pictured here was known for years by the alias Jesse James. He was an avid rock climber in Squamish who lived out of his car. In 2017, his body was found inside a burnt out SUV along a forest service road. He was shot dead. Police were unable to figure out his real name until now. American born Davis Wolfgang Hawk. We were able to confirm his identity through DNA. He was reported missing from his family, by his family. Uh, in the United States. Gone but far from forgotten, Hawk was a known neo-Nazi with a highly publicized past. He's a puzzle. He really is. Once a child chess prodigy, he grew up under a swath of different names. He organized hate marches, including one that drew hordes of police and counter-protesters in Washington, D.C. I think he had like a superiority complex, you know, in the sense of um, he just thought he was smarter than everybody, and I, he probably was in some respects. Investigative reporter Brian McWilliams followed him for years during the early 2000s. That's when Hawk started an online spam ring. He peddled penis enhancement pills and suckered users for millions of dollars. And ultimately, he was just a con man, and he figured out how to use the internet to, you know, get what he not what, what he wanted, which was just quick money, easy money. A campaign that put him on the wrong end of a $12 million lawsuit by AOL. He fled the country, his whereabouts unknown until today. That kind of end for a guy like him doesn't surprise me. He was a guy who always sort of lived on the edge. Family members told CBC News they've been made aware of his death, calling it sad and admitting Hawk had an insecure side. As for his murder, it's still shrouded in mystery, a page-turning saga with chapters yet to be written. John Hernandez, CBC News, Vancouver.